Okay, if you're purchasing one of my long range transmitters for the wireless remote control kits, this is the procedure for acquiring the radio receiver to the transmitter. I'm going to go ahead and show you pulling the case apart. You'll recognize that this is the case. This is the switch right here that you will push in on momentarily. Now what I'm going to have you do is take a zip tie and cut the end off of it so you can push the switch with a plastic tool as opposed to a metal screwdriver blade. The easiest way to do it is not to remove the case. I simply removed the case so you can see how to go about this. But with the radio fully assembled and the main, my, main wiring harness will be coming out of this end, is to trim, starting from the center, trim this and this upright and simply cut them out of the way. So then now you have a large window that you can reach through and push this button. I'm going to demonstrate this on this EU3000 that's already wired up. On the EU3000, the radio receiver mounts the side of the control box. If you've got an EU6500, it's mounted inside the control box in this area. You'd have to remove the control box and put a jumper wire from the metal control box to the frame of the generator because you're going to need to have the radio receiver powered up when you do this. If you'll notice, I've already trimmed out the sections from the finned area on this radio. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the codes that are in it. In order to delete all the codes, what you do is you turn the key to the on position and then you would press the button until you see it flashing very slowly. Right now, you'll notice that the generator is programmed to respond. I'm not going to start it. I'll just show that it is programmed to respond. Only I have my flashlight. Okay. So with the key in the on position, I'm going to take the zip tie and I'm going to reach in and I'm going to push this button until the LED starts to flash slowly. And you have to hold it in for a few seconds before it starts flashing slowly. Okay, now you can see the LED is flashing slowly. Once it's doing that, it should clear all the codes. So at this point, Turn the key to the off position, then turn it back to the on position. The generator no longer answers. So now I have a radio that doesn't respond to any codes whatsoever. Now I want to program this radio to where it will answer to codes. So what I'm going to do is turn the key to the on position, reach in with my zip tie, and push the button so that it turns the red light on, staying on. So you see the red light stays on? Then what I'll do is I will press any button on my transmitter and it should flash 15 times quickly. So it has now answered this code. So now this transmitter is reprogrammed to it. Turn the key to the off position, back to the on position, and the radio should answer. Both of these transmitters are encoded identically. So it should answer both. 
However, it's not encoded to answer to this one. So what we're going to do is now we are going to add this to the code. So we'll shut it off, turn it back on again, and reach through the slot. And if you push the button in and hold it in for a long period of time, it'll start to slow flash, which clears all the existing codes. We want to just push the button one time, which will turn it on and leave it on. There you look, and your light is on. Make sure that the on-off switch on the long-range transmitter is in the on position, and then hit any button, and that light should flash 15 times real quickly. Okay. Now, the radio should answer to the two small transmitters and to the long-range transmitter. And let's go ahead and test it. Ready? Okay. I don't want to start it up because we're inside an enclosed room. So now it answers to the long range transmitter. And let's make sure that it still answers to the short range transmitters. Okay. And that is how you program these radio receivers. Real quickly, you just cut out the notch on the end with the antenna wire. Open it up so that you can actually shine a flashlight in there and you can see the button that's on the circuit board. If you want to clear all the codes, you hold the button in with the key in the on position. You would hold the button in until the light flashes very slowly. That means all codes have been cleared. Then when you get ready to reprogram, turn the key back to the on position. Push the button one time and it'll come on and stay on. Push any button on the transmitter, it'll flash 15 times real fast. That means that transmitter is now acquired. If you want to program another transmitter to it, shut the key off, turn the key back on, push the button one time, the light will come on and stay on, then push any button on the next transmitter, and the light will flash 15 times again. Like I pointed out earlier, the button that you're actually pressing is this button right here. It's just a little black button. And that should do it.